Bailey at the Spotlight Review Station. We'll be taking a look at another 4 inch Fortnite action figure by Jazzwares. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. This is Bandolier in solo mode. And if there's one thing that I've noticed about every single one of these 4 inch action figures, they all say solo mode. I wonder why that is. Is that an easier way of saying that they're single carded figures? It's in an alternate costume in the game? Regardless, let's go ahead and take a look at the pack of jeans for take a virgin single video review on this channel. Up close in your face! Starting off at the top, we got Epic Games, we got Aegis 8 and Plus, a picture of Bandolier that's kind of covered up by the packaging. There's Fortnite, Bandolier the action figure, there's a hashtag, there's the name Bandolier, solo mode. And down below at the bottom left corner, we got Jazzwares. Taking a quick look at the back of the packaging, we've got the picture of Bandolier again, we got Fortnite, Bandolier. No shirt, no surrender. And there's that holographic sticker where you can scan with your iPhone. Other figures available in this line, we've got Carbide, Technique, Raptor, and Drift. The rest of the information on the back of the packaging is just licensing and jazz wear. This is going to be it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and uh, rip it open, which you cannot actually do. Alright, just in case you wanted to see the whole thing, there's the complete picture of Bandolier. She never full body arms, but I'm going to anyway. So, let's take a good look at Bandolier up close and see all this very nice detail starting off with, of course, the Bandolier. It's made out of a rubber material, it's molded in black, but it's got some nice gold trimming for the bullet. And it does go all the way to the back as well. And taking a good look at the head sculpt, and it looks pretty cool. I like the shades. The gold trimming on it's pretty clean. The beard is a very nice paint job, and the mohawk looks pretty cool. Taking a look at some of this detail that's all around his bare chest, I'm guessing it's a uh, just war paint. Nice work on the buckle. I, I like the way that actually came out. So good job, Jazzwares. Got some kind of Aztec patterning on his pants. Straps are nicely painted on the thigh. Pretty good sculpt into the pocket pouch. Then again, it kind of looks like a brown bag. Maybe he's carrying his lunch with him. Very lovely detail with the shin guards and the strap holding them in place are actually painted nicely. And I love the way that these boots actually look. This is so much detail and I love it. And they didn't have to, but they did anyway. They actually painted the toe guard and silver and the band here around his bicep is actually a separate piece going right into the articulation on the figure and he does have a ball jointed head the figure also has a hinge joint at the neck for up and down movement universal shoulder joints on a very tight clicking ratchet so you get this much inward and outward movement and you get a full 360 rotation a swivel cut above the elbow joint. Single jointed elbows that gets a little less than 90 degrees. We got a swivel cut at the wrist. A hinge joint for inward and outward movement as well. A ball joint at the upper torso. Look at him go. And dig this, they actually found room to still give him a rotation at the waist. Look how close these two joints are next to each other. Was this really necessary? Hips are on ball joints so you get this much kicking forward. And that much going back. And you can also pull off a very nice JCVD split. So there's your still quality people. Enjoy it, because I am. There's a swivel cut at the thigh section. Double jointed knees. There's a hinge joint for up and down movement at the feet. And that also includes a very lovely ankle rocker pivot all right let's take a look at some of the accessories the figure comes with which is only two and you probably saw them already with the opening of the packaging it's like it's a harpoon with a shark that was impelled let's look this up real quickly so apparently it's a harvesting tool and it's called chomp jr chomp Junior, where did they come up with that silly name? It's obviously all sculpted in gray plastic with the shark being painted blue. They left the teeth unpainted and that's fine with me. They actually took time to paint the rope here, so that's nice. And overall, this is silly as can be, but I really do like the way this actually turned out with all the detail on it. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see if the figure can actually hold this thing. That's the real test. Yes, the figure can hold it just fine. Last thing we need to look at is obviously the display base for this figure, which can be attached to other display bases that come with the other figures. Not much to really say. It's just a bunch of plywood here with some ropes that are unpainted, but I'm fine with that. It's the thought to give our figures a displayable base. It's all that really counts. All right, guys, it's that time of the video. Let's dare to compare with the rest of the other four inch figures I've reviewed so far. So here's Bandolier with Technique and Omega. How much more creative can this line truly get? 3-0, Jazzwares. You're killing it. Let me just applaud you on your effort in this line. I am loving these figures. Honestly speaking here, 
The figures is what really got me into the game. I had no interest in the game at first, but after taking a look at some of these figures, I really needed to jump in. I was, it was just piquing my interest. What else could I say? Pretty cool action figure bandolier is, just like Omega and Technique. It does have a little bit of a nitpick here, and it's only because of his weapon of choice, this harvesting tool that he's got. Like, I don't know how well this actually fits with the character, but I will say, this is the one character that truly needed, like, a gun. Fortunately, Jazzwares has listened to us, and they have released weapon packs, which I will be looking at very shortly, but I've still got other figures in line that I need to take a look at first before we get to that stuff. But yeah, another cool figure that if you see in stores, you don't want to pass up. It would also make a great addition to your G.I. Joe collection. Actually, when I think about it now, I think this figure is more articulated than a G.I. Joe figure of today. Things have changed, definitely, especially with this company. Keep it up, Jazzwares. Keep it up. So, questions or comments, you know to do, hit it down below in the comment section of the video. If you liked today's video review, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to give me a sub up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Don't forget to throw in the towel. And until then, my friends, this is the Young Professional Toy Reviewer has for signing off by saying when the opportunity persists, don't give up on your dreams. Seize the moment. Thank you for watching.